What up my nerds, I'm Ricardo the Roleplay Gamer, and I like to party. Welcome back to Sim Settlements. So I, I, I figured out where the power issue was coming from. It was actually the, uh, oh god, the, the factory. You know the factory all the way over there near the containers? Uh, that was without power. Couldn't tell you why, I think it was just bugged. Um, the, the power generator just wasn't working. <laughs> I moved it. Detached it, reattached it, now it's working. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we've got 13 settlers again. This is, hey, our food's pretty good. That's good. <laughs> well, our, we've got 13 settlers again because I went to Red Rocket and pulled someone back. Now, we do have an issue, apparently. Couldn't really tell you why this is happening. But apparently, if we go to Frank Town, so Spectacle Island, and then try to fast travel, sorry, Starlight Driving, and try to fast travel back here to Frank City at Spectacle Island, uh, the game crashes every time, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, whether it was the save at that point, for whatever reason, maybe it corrupted somehow, I don't know. Or just fast traveling from the general vicinity of Starlight, because it's got a lot of assets in there at the moment. Maybe that messed it up. Either of those two things seem possible to me. So we've got to be careful, the game's starting to break apart here. What are we going to do this episode? We're all maxed out, except for our jobs which doesn't need to be we're close enough we're above 70 percent so it should be fine we just have to wait for things to upgrade and wait for settlers to come in we haven't got anyone else we haven't got anyone left i mean we could start emptying frank town but i'm not sure i want to it would feel if it feel like a travesty now i'm not sure why happiness is so low at frank town uh because i just i've uh, been there um, and happiness was low, but all the stats were up. I don't know. So there must be something else going on there. But in any case, <laughs> I'm a little scared. More, more than a little scared, uh, TBH. So this episode, I guess what we're going to do is a whole bunch of defense, you know? So they predominantly seem to be coming from this direction, which I'm okay with. Uh, they're just a little bit further out than I expect them to be. So I'm gonna build some turrets up here near the Oliver baby. I'm gonna build some turrets uh, up here near the farm, the farming area. There's a little bit of space here. So let's, you know what? Let's build like a proper sexual guard tower. And we're gonna be doing this with the, will we do it like this or hang on? Maybe if we go, you would just go the straight walls instead and, and like, grab the regular straight walls. Can we do that? Or, no, no, no. we'll do, we'll do it. Mm, hang on. What material do we want, though? I don't even know. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build something that actually looks like a tower. <laughs> We'll use that one. It'll be fine. Okay. So let's, uh, let's start setting her down here. Hopefully this works. And it doesn't end up being a, a travesty of construction. All right. So then we just put, go put down a, oh God. Does it, does it not like it? Where does it want to, oh God. <laughs> what have I done? Um, what have I even done? Maybe, hang on. Let me just grab another wall. Do they snap to each other? I might have known. <laughs> no. All right. So let's go. Uh, let's go to the fences instead. Why not? Maybe these will work and it'll be fine. Uh, come on. Let me get over there, buddy. All right. See, that's working a little bit better now. It's not doing that freaky deaky nonsense. Okay. So we want like, uh, this is identical though, isn't it? Isn't this exactly what we had before? What if we go to the ones that are more like walls? We could put that down. However, um, this might work. You know, we'll put that down. We'll recycle this, move this into position. Boom. Okay. Let's see if it'll snap to, yeah, it'll snap. That's, that's excellent. It's 
fucking beautiful. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's just we'll put put down. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So this is this is gonna be straight up. This tower is gonna look absurd. It's gonna be. This is gonna be stupid. We might have to finagle it. Fin finagle it. Just a scooch. Alternatively. God, there, I don't think there is an alternative. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what else would we do here, though? Um, is there a... There's not a flatter version, is there? Just... Uh, hang on. I don't even know what we would do in this situation. We could... Could we, like, build off of that or something? Hold on. Let's put this down and see what happens. Let's put it down a little bit further further into here. Okay. Excellent. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play with this here. Can we? No. I've flown too close to the sun. It's fine. Alright. Now let's see if we can snap stuff to the... No, maybe not. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Perhaps understandably so. I'm just thinking... Look, I'm not thinking. I'll be honest. So that snaps over there, but not like the other way around. That's so weird. I mean, maybe it's not that weird. It's probably not that weird. Listen, so that's probably not the best idea. Or is it? <laughs> Look, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Um, we're going to figure something out. Make no mistake. We'll figure we'll figure it out. We'll put on a spread. It'll be, it'll be fine. So... All right, maybe we just work with this. So let's go to, let's go to our stairs and see if there's any way in hell we can actually stare up here. Holy shit, that, that works? Really? Hold on. Can we actually get up here like this? No, we can't. All right, look. <laughs> it was a bold experiment. I'll, gi I'll give you that. <laughs> Listen. Oh, that works though. Hold on. We could just put a turret there. Um, I can't... Mm, yeah. Maybe. So what do we... God, this is terrible. I'm just trying to build a nice looking tower. And, and I get this. Clearly, look, they're walls. They're not made to, to be towered up. Make no mistake. But uh, this is this is terrible. This is it's it's trash. It's absolutely terrible. What if we <laughs> what if we build like some scaffolding? I just want to put some turrets up. Is all I want. That's all I want from you. Why are you fighting me at every turn? So instead, what we're gonna do is. Starlight Drive-In is under attack. I'm not going there, buddy, because the game's going to crash. I'm not even going to do it. So, yeah. Yeah, you better run. All right. Let's put down some of this action. And this is this is going to be our defense instead. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Uh, so, we're going to go for, I think, we want some metal-esque stairs here terrible. <laughs> I'm going to put the stairs down first and we're going to use that to judge the height of these things. It's fine. Come on. All right. Perfect. Not really, but it's okay. This is going to be, this is going to be fine. And when we're going to use, Hey, you know what? What if we go like dual machine gun? There's, there's like room for it though. Right? So I'm going, I'm thinking, so it doesn't look like weird and naked with just like one skinny little turret in the middle of it. We build, we build two lesser turrets inside here, right? Oh, baby. What do you think of that? That's not half bad. I am up. Okay. So now we can get rid of this nonsense. It's fine. 
So where are they going to attack from? They'll, they'll attack from here. This is sort of where it went down last time, I think. Uh, have all the bodies despawned? Maybe. Look, that's disappointing. All that power armor and now it's gone? Look, it looks, it looks like that's the case. Alright, fine. Go and be a savage like that. Let's see if I can. Do what you like. Whatever. Alright, let's put... <laughs> Let's put down another one of these bad boys over here. Uh, so what, we start with a barn stair to determine the height. This is our meta. Boom. Go to where we'll... Orange, orange for, for excitement and flair. And I got a couple of turrets ready to fuck you this shit up, baby, because this is Frank City. What do you think of that? Raider scum? I'm sure they're not at all phased. By my... By my, uh... Fucking... What am I doing? I'm rambling is what I'm doing. It's fine. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. Good, good, good. Look, it's just more guns to bear. At least there's that. And maybe it'll occupy them. So that they're targeting the turrets instead of my settlers. And they just... And my settlers just stop dying constantly because i'm telling you right now i don't want to be a defeatist about it but if we keep going like this this isn't gonna work out <laughs> it's never gonna happen for us all right that's not built yet everything else we're kind of good so we can't do anything in terms of the actual sim settlement aspect because everything's working fine uh what, what can we do what can we do we can maybe move the factory Maybe, though, the reason I say maybe we move the factory is because I was going to say maybe it was attacked and that's why the power died, but also it seemed like it just bugged out because I didn't have to repair the, uh, the generator at all. Don't mind that it's floating. It's magic. It's fine. Um, don't feed the bears. Oh, God. This isn't one of my guys, by the way. This that way here already. It's fine. Don't think I can pick this. Okay. Look, maybe we move the factory, or maybe we get rid of the factory. <sighs> I'm gonna get rid of the factory. Why? So that whoever is tasked to work on the factory doesn't have to walk across half the island to get to work, right? So instead, we're going to extend the boardwalk because why not it's gonna look cooler it'll be fine uh commercial plot so we're gonna finish up the boardwalk essentially here um if we're sort of just waiting for things to tick over and happen uh aka getting more settlers so that we can actually <laughs> stop dying um then look we may as well like complete the boardwalk in the meantime, what it look? I know, I know we got the right angle. There we go. That's the right angle. Wait, no, no, <laughs> why, why though? <laughs> why would you do this? Why? Oh, fucking hate. <laughs> no, you piece of shit. And they're fucking hard too. They're all skulled bastards! Oh god... Listen... I, I don't think my spirit has ever been this crushed. I just wanna like... Frank is feeling real dank right now. And not in a good way. Oh fuck! What the shit was that? Well, so much for our brilliant plan of, of defending this area. <laughs> Good God. Maybe, maybe Frank bit off more than he could chew. Maybe that's the moral of the story here. Maybe in essence, Ron has actually won. Maybe that's what we're looking at. Through a, it's been a battle of attrition, essentially, is, is what's going on. 
Oh, Jesus, there's so many of them, too. There's so many of them. It's almost, it's not even really... Oh, God, there's another one over here. And they've all got skulls. It's not even worth it using bats, because I don't do that much damage. Listen, I feel like we need to, we need to hit up, like, some sort of call to action here. I'm going to finish this fight, and then we're going to do real talk, okay? We're going to have a discussion, and I'm going to say some things that maybe you won't like. And that's okay. I don't like it either. But we're, we're kind of being driven to a, to a situation here where we have to make some harsh calls. And maybe that means ruffling some feathers. Oh, fuck. Look. Frank can't die. I feel like if Frank actually dies... In this let's play that's meant to be about peaceful building. <laughs> if Frank actually dies, it's almost like game over. So, I haven't really been, you know, Kluger and I, we've got some plans. I'll put it that way. We got some plans. Uh, those plans have not included him sending, oh, fuck, him sending super mutants to kill me. But I'm, I'm quite happy to say, without even conferring with Kluger, I'm saying this is all fucking Ron's fault. He's gotten too big for his britches over at the goddamn superiority complex, and he said, you know what? I'm gonna hire. Thanks for your help fighting them off. I'm gonna hire some super mutants, and I'm gonna take out Frank once and for all. So we've we've lost Vivian, and we've lost Isla. Who else have we lost? We've lost someone else too. There's a there's a third person missing. Is this it? <sighs> Catherine, we hardly knew ye. It's a sad day for Franks everywhere. I tell you that right now. But you know, old Frank. He's not too proud. I know when I'm done. I know when I'm beat. So we're gonna head back to the mainland. Head back north. We're gonna set up Frank C 2.0. It's gonna be bigger and better than anything I've ever seen before. Mark my words. You mark them good. So I've cut this episode a scooch short to save you guys some pain as dog meat falls off the roof of Red Rock in the background. That's fantastic. So I can feel some of you guys getting a little frustrated in the comments section with all these settler deaths. And I want you to know that I'm right there with you. <laughs> I'm, uh, look, I'm, I think it's fun and funny that we keep getting attacked, but, but this stunted progress is, is harshing my vibe. It's, it's, it's killing me over here. So we're going to take drastic measures here and we're going to shake things up and we're going to fix this. So I've seen a lot of theories as to why our settlers keep dying. Some of you think it's uh, solely the fault of Frank's main weapon. Yeah, sure. It's not fantastic. I'm not sure if it's the only reason though. Some of you have suggested uh, that we need to arm our settlers and that's a, that's a perfectly valid point. I've actually put in a lot of work over this past weekend testing that. So after that big super mutant attack, which was ridiculous. I mean, did any one of those muties not have a skull next to his name, right? <laughs> that was absurd. Anyway, so I've done like two, three hours of, of just solid testing, uh, consoling in weapons and equipment, trying to arm my settlers to the teeth, arm Frank to the teeth and save scumming and just redoing that super mutant fight in particular. It's nothing's, nothing's happening. So. I, no, I didn't want to put that on camera uh, just so as not to bore you. So you'll have to trust me there that it's not working. <laughs> it's it's definitely an issue of uh, like character level. We've gone too far south, south too early and Frank is not perked for combat, like at all. Because <laughs> I didn't expect it, you know. Um, it's a building series, so that's the way I've built the character, and I didn't expect all those ridiculous attacks. Anyway, on top of all that, we've got mods fucking up. Um, like I mentioned previously, we've got... The, the game is, is crashing more and more. So, I've, I've, I've gone and, and reinstalled the whole thing. We've got a, a you know, a pared down list of mods, but, but make no mistake... Have no fear, it's, at least in my opinion, the, the core ones, necessary ones, you know, that's going to help us with, um, we're doing some cool things with the settlement. And I've decided to move uh, Frank City or Frank City 2.0 north to Sanctuary. So here we are. We're going to use, uh, before I forget, we're going to use Red Rocket as like 
an outpost. It's going to be like a guard post, um, you know, uh, watchtower sort of thing. So we'll get there. Then that's going to be cool. Also, another thing that uh, I discovered through my testing, which sort of doomed our last uh, save anyway, is the mod that I installed to increase the settler cap wasn't working. And I know Kluger is having this issue as well. It's infuriating. Um, so I've done I've done a whole bunch of testing and setting up so that the, what you're looking at right here is solid and good to go. And, and I'm putting this at the end of episode seven so that we don't have to do this on episode eight. Episode eight is we're just going straight into it and we're good to go. Get all the explanation out of the way. Um, so it's now working. And I think my headphones are like creaking up a storm. I changed them because the other ones were creaking. These ones are creaking too. Good Lord. So <laughs> the, the increased settler cap mod is now working. I have confirm this unless it stops up later we should be good <laughs> so we've actually got what 19 settlers already here at at frank c 2.0 i've set up a preliminary little uh entry and guard tower thing maybe we'll put frank city on the on the the gate somehow we'll do we'll do something cool we'll put out a spread um you know, we've got a couple turrets either side. We, we're turreted up like nobody's business. Now, I don't expect we're going to get attacked here anywhere near as much. But if we do, we're good to go and we're, we're safe. I've also leveled up Frank uh, to level 17, which I think is where we left off. And we've got all the necessary building perks down. And all the extra perks will probably go into combat stuff as we need them. Uh, we'll see how we go. As it stands, I've, I've been slowly demolishing all the existing houses and just sort of leaving some of the shit in here because it's kind of cool. The settlers, when they haven't got anything to do, they'll actually sit around in there. It's it's pretty sweet. <laughs> so we've got our farms over here um, just to begin with and I'll probably move them out of sight a little later because I totally plan to build houses all along this road right to the front gate. It's going to look dank. <laughs> also, you may notice we've got an EMB. <laughs> which I've been resistant to previously, but this was really easy to install and it looks kind of sexy. I love it. So uh, this is going to be our town hall. And this is probably the, the only structure we're going to leave as is. Um, otherwise, I've set up a preliminary uh, sort of settlement here so we're not starting from scratch and so I don't bore you guys. Uh, so we've actually made a jump in progress to sort of make up for all the stunted progress we had as a result of all our settlers dying. So this is going to be, this. In, I think at least, this is going to be a lot of fun because we're getting back to the building. It's it's going to be more like uh, season one, which is pretty cool. All right, so the reason I've done this much work already is just so I could get enough settlers in so that I could test that the settler cap mod is working. And we've done that now and it's cool. So I had a couple ideas here and this is sort of a version of one of those ideas. And that was having like, uh, like making, I suppose, blocks of, of units essentially uh, would be a real world analogy to that. Uh, so you've got like each of the houses that, that were there previously, you knock them down and you build like a, a, a small amount of little houses on that plot. Uh, that, you know, that's a cool idea and that's something I still might do, but I'm going to focus more moving forward on just lining the road paving the road with houses essentially and whenever there's a gap we turn it into an alleyway and that's where we'll have like industrial behind or something right. that'll be really cool ready to help out case in point here so we've got a couple of industrial buildings again we've got we've got a couple of new add-ons uh i'm not going to go into exactly what mods we have right now but check the description for episode eight it's going to have all that information also i'm going to make it a little bit more clear instead of um, sorting in terms of load order, because I, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> you guys can figure out your own load order. You know, there are tools that allow you to do that. So I'm going to categorize the mods in the description based on mod category, I think. I think that makes a lot more sense. So check the description of episode eight coming probably tomorrow or whenever it is. Um, for all those mods, if you're interested, ENB included. Um, we do have less mods though, but more like unnecessary mods like um, 
As much as I really love the cyber stuff, it was glitching out really bad. And while I'm sure it'll work now on a fresh, clean, install and save, I just want to, I just want to pare it down. And for the rest of season two, we're going to keep it small. We're going to keep it focused on, on the building. Um, and sundry stuff, we're not going to worry about too much. It's going to be, it's going to be fine. Uh, yeah, so this is sort of the idea I was having. I, li I like this, but for the moment, we're going to just like keep going down towards the gate and we're going to uh, line over all that, all that with houses. It's going to be really cool. <laughs> also need to get rid of that. All right, so uh, this is the dank market. <laughs> this is going to be where we're going to have all our shops naturally. I mean, where else would you put it? It's really cool. All right, so we've started off with the bar. I mean, that's in, that's the first thing you got to put down. So I thought I felt it was important to decide where we're going to put the bar. We've also got a security shop over here. Um, and other than that, you know, we'll just put stuff in as we need it. And we're going to light up this place like the 4th of fucking July. And it's going to look hey, real hot. To help out. <laughs> I'm getting that excitement back, you know. It's, it's feeling good. I'm really excited for the future of uh, turning this into a city. And already, as much, as, as cool as... Jeez, pressing Garvey just won't shut up in my face over here. As cool as... Yes. Frank City on Spectacle Island was becoming. Like, it's a real... It hurt my soul to have to get rid of that. There was also an added issue of uh, Steam. My Steam install corrupted yet again. It's been like the 10th time this year. Uh, and Steam support and no help. So I'm not saying that that is why I uninstalled, but as I was uninstall uninstalling mods, uh, the Steam install corrupted and my Fallout 4 install corrupted anyway. So I actually couldn't get into it. So I had to do like a system restore and whatnot to get access to it, to get rid of some of the mods. It was, it was a mess. So probably lucky we've done this now instead of waiting till the whole thing breaks and then being forced to do it uh in a rush but that's essentially what we've got going on here we've got water down here at the front which is kind of cool um right there in the water I, I, I really like this so we can actually just walk down here um this will be a nice fishing spot once we, once we get rid of the de debris but like fly fishing right so classy fishing it's gonna be hot <laughs> and we'll uh we'll like line the walls with um water purifiers and whatnot. <sighs> yes, this is exciting. So yeah, like I was saying, as much as it pains me to have to get rid of what we built at Spectacle Island because it was looking really cool, this has the potential to look really cool as well. And, you know, in some ways it's easy to build, in, in other ways it's harder because it's got the existing plots, uh, which, you know, with Scrap Everything, we can get rid of everything, even the foundation. Just sometimes it looks ugly. So sometimes we can peek through the geometry, peek through the world. There are missing textures because, of course, you're not meant to see underneath the plot. Uh, but in those cases, I think I've done a reasonably good job of covering them up with the residential plots anyway. So it shouldn't at all be a problem. In terms of weapons, because a, lo oh, like a lot of you are really not okay with my laser musket. <laughs> So, while normally I would say, you need to understand, um, this channel is not about doing things optimally, it's about doing, it's the roleplay strat, right? Uh, but in this case, I've decided that changing weapon is going to enhance the roleplay strat. And what I mean by that is, um, Frank Ledank is a bit of a mobster, so he's got to have a, a Tommy-like submachine gun. I don't know if... What's that? Are we under attack? Is this really happening? We're already under attack. That's that's fantastic. I love it. Well, hang on. I got to see who it is now. We get to test out our, our Tommy gun. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually a Tommy gun. I know a Tommy gun is a submachine gun. So all Tommy guns are submachine guns, but not all submachine guns are Tommy guns. Is that right? Oh, God. It's a Yagwai. Oh, okay. It's just one. It's fine. It's not even a problem. He's stunted too. He can't even swim. Alright. So as you can see. We're pretty solid here. It's fine. Just to make sure. We didn't lose anyone did we? No we're fine. See we're good. We're at 69 happiness. It's the perfect time to reboot the series. <laughs> oh yes. I'm excited. I am. This is going to be really good. This is going to be hot. So, uh, all right. So we've, we've got the submachine gun now. I don't 
really know or even maybe think it's better. But it's more appropriate, and that's what we're going to stick to. It's a roleplay strap, baby. That's why we're rocking a fedora. <laughs> I should probably get a suit, but I'm not sure if it really jives with me in terms of look. Uh, we got the metal armor, which I've upgraded a little bit. Um, this is going to be good. So, what? hang on. Got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. She didn't get into my power armor, did she? I swear to Christ. <laughs> Zoe, you troublemaker? She did. She stole my power armor. What a savage. Look, it's fine. I was planning to roll back the save and start at a different point anyway. <laughs> I will leave it there. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Very excited for the future and the rest of season two. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. The cinematic. The cinematicness of the, of the EMB. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.